My name is Morgan Poindexter, and I am an immunology graduate student um, in Kent Pinkerton's lab over at the Center for Health and the Environment at UC Davis. And I'm here studying uh, the effects of e-cigarettes on the pulmonary um, function and your respiratory system, so your lungs. And so we have this really interesting, unique uh, tool. Uh, we have built this vaping system in order to um, expose different um, you have an animal model, different types of cells, um, to vapor directly. So I can show you guys basically how that works. So we have a, an e-cigarette device. Um, it has a battery and then um, a tank um, where you put the e-liquid. We make our own e-liquid out of propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin, the same as you would par purchase um, in a vape store. Um, then we add nicotine and we can add different flavoring uh, chemicals. We just add that directly into the device. And that then closed up, can puff on the device. And if I was a user, I would inhale. Um, but so we have a device here already connected to the tubing that then goes to this um, exposure chamber. And so we use the controller, the computer, um, in order to control the puffs so we can actually set the temperature at which the device operates. We can set the amount of power that the device gives um, in order to achieve uh, the temperature that we want. And so we are looking at the chemical composition of the vapor. And so we wanna see how that chemical composition possibly changes at different temperatures and with different ratios of propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin and the amount of nicotine that you put in a solution. Um, so there's a lot of different variables uh, that you can go into a vape store and purchase different amounts of nicotine, different amounts of PGVG, and we wanna see the effects on the lung um, at those different ratios in the actual e-juice or e-liquid, um, which is what gets vaporized. And we also wanna look at the different temperatures because there may be a reason why for taste or for comfort, a user might want to increase or decrease the temperature of the devices. So our device is right here, and so I will switch this on, and it will do a puff every 30 seconds. Um, and so that will go directly into the chamber here, and you should be able to see it. Um, and then we also can monitor the puff, the temperature, the power, the current, and the voltage in real time, and see exactly what's happening at a per puff level so that we have that information for when we um, go back and do our studies and expose different